Yo, what is going on, husbandos and waifus? My name is Hermazar, and welcome to another live reaction review of Jujutsu Kaisen. This anime is one of those things that I wait for weekly, guys. I'm excited for this anime, and I cannot wait for each episode, especially since the last episode was a goddamn cliffhanger! So we're going to see how this is going to happen, because we know that Sakuna is awakened. Itadori seems to be sleeping. Will Fushigoro be able to stall enough for Itadori to fully waken up? Because, let's be real, Yuji was getting his ass handed to him. Will Gojo Sensei pull up i hope so because i like to see him pull up and show his fucking strength so let's hop into it my boys sakuna even expected itadori to switch with him already and he's like ah he knocked oh shit he i he doesn't even have enough strength to beat him i'm sure oh shit oh shit yo no fucking way <laughs> what episode is this what episode is this this shit is real already <laughs> Our positions are reversed. I wonder what he means by that. I'm actually excited to see Fushigoro get more fleshed out as a character. Because I'm sure he's like fucking really cool. What was that? I'm assuming that has something to do with Fushigoro. Yo, we have to give it to Fushigoro though. To kind of like be breaking down the situation. He's like fully examining Sukuna's skills. Even though he's in a very bad situation. Dude, he's shaking though. He's scared. Oh, shit. Yo, it's like he's dancing on him. Let's go, Fushigoro. Oh, fuck. Yo. <laughs> Sakura's crazy. Oh, Orochi. Let's go, a snake. Oh, bruh. Oh, shit. Yo. Yo, my man's getting fucked right now is there is there a way to reinforce his body so he doesn't get hit that hard yo i know he's a sorcerer and all but how the fuck do you how the fuck do you survive that he doesn't have the brute strength of itadori the poor burb yo is he good <laughs> i wonder if, if, if like him talking to sukuna will make him realize that he can go beyond his potential yo how is he fucking standing he's speaking facts he's like people should be judged fairly People deserves the right amount of happiness. Yo, he looks cool. Save people unequally. Yo. Whoa. Whoa. He was able to bring him back. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, dude. Come on. He's the main character. He ain't going to die. <laughs> but that was emotionally intense living without regret how important that is yo these curses actually look super cool though they're designed so cool so he's the only non-curse and he can see them so i'm assuming he's working with those curses is he part of jujutsu tech that'd be quite the flip Here, here's the theory. Here's the theory. This guy's gonna leave. Gojo's gonna be like, Sakuna, wake your ass up. <laughs> right? And then, then uh, Gojo's gonna be like, fucking restore your heart, bitch. Hey, let's go! He's so badass! Looks like she hasn't been sleeping. <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? He's just horny. She's fucking crying. Dude, I would be emotional too, being friends with someone for two weeks just to see him die. <laughs> it's hot. I bet you're like, man, it's boring without Itadori here, man. Yuji always brings that fire. <laughs> is, that, is this awake or something? Kinda. <laughs> oh, it's a panda bear! <laughs> she feels like shit now! <laughs> and then that's how she came up. That's so weird that a panda's awake. <laughs> a panda's a fucking sorcerer. That's tight as fuck. Salmon roe. Salmon roe. Wait, isn't that food? He can only speak in ingredients. Panda senpai. I wonder if she's just surprised that there's a panda there. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I wonder why the third years are suspended. Smash Bros? Hell yeah. Of course, there has to be like a tournament arc among students and schools as well. Anything but killing. He's like Kung Fu Panda. Uh, I love that they're thinking of him. Like, damn, we have to get stronger. <laughs> Bonito Flakes. What the fuck? 
that's true that humans also have like strong negative emotions as well so who specifically is this guy then that's gonna be impossible because gojo being the strongest of course he's not dead Damn, fuck, the way they leave you! I hate that shit! I mean, I love it! I love the series. Because <laughs> you are an animal! And I for breeze every day? Does that even work on pandas? That's the power for breeze. <laughs> Sunshine! And then I'm assuming this is where Itadori is gonna talk to Sukuna, force him to restore his heart, yada yada yada. Sick! There's a lot to this episode that they gave us, and I- Dude, Fushigoro actually pull it in, and we, we got a little, kind of like, sneak peek of his past and about the person that he cared about prior, right? It seemed to be that maybe his mom or an older friend, an older sister, I'm not sure. We just got a little look into that, and it seems like when he engulfs himself into that, like, dark aura, it probably chips away at his life. I think that's what Sukuno was saying in particular. Just so you guys know, I don't, like, rewatch it more than once, I just go straight into the review um so i just it's kind of like a first impression review but anyways besides the point um it seems like and also once those um well, once those creatures that he summons dies from his shadows then he can't be able he won't be able to summon them again he's it seems like he released new way uh, orochi's gone as well orochi was obviously bodied by sukuna sukuna is a fucking threat but sukuna also noticed when he was uh about to use that power that he has he was actually going to get a real fight but it seems like fushigoro realized how he would be able to bring back itadori was to tell him like i never regretted saving you and that was kind of like the trigger to having Fushigoro be like a trigger for having Itadori come in and just thank him for that. Because uh, Itadori had a little bit of regret, but then Itadori was willing to just die at that moment without regrets because he heard what Fushigoro thought. And Fushigoro knew that Itadori was willing to sacrifice his life to be able to protect others. Now, when we saw those other curses or those other like creatures talking to that human, I wonder what he has to do. It seems like he might be the main villain quite possibly he was telling the other curses that the only way to win a war is to render gojo useless right so he can't fight which i think is going to be practically impossible because gojo's the fucking goat it seems my theory of having gojo be like wake up <laughs> was wrong and also to bring itadori over to their side which i don't think is going to happen well i wonder if there's going to be like a certain point where it's going to be like an issue of can curses and humans actually live together in peace? But you know, curses are just pure negative emotion, right? And even though humans have negative emotions as well, a negative emotion, as human as it is, we have like these complex thoughts where I feel like, as Fushigoro was saying, everyone deserves happiness. Everyone deserves that fairness of happiness, whether if you have a curse or not. So I think that ploy is going to be uh, a major thing, maybe. I'm not sure. I really, I'm re I really want to read it, believe it or not, guys. Like, I've been holding holding back on reading this uh, in the, this manga so i don't know maybe i don't know my i might read it uh this episode was done fucking well even though the story wasn't really i, I felt like the story didn't like progress as quickly you know because it was more so like a completion of one segment of an arc and it, it they did tell the truth where one first year student died who would well kind of should have saw it coming that it was itadori uh because we saw that he was able to regenerate his arm and props to fushigoro to realizing that yo he has regeneration so there might be a possibility that he can convince sukuna to restore the heart for itadori wakes up unfortunately he wasn't able to do that but props to fushigoro to kind of like calmly assess the situation as scared as he was the fight scene was really fucking cool unfortunately it was completely one-sided we were seeing fushigoro get fucking bodied but it was still really cool to see another piece of information that we learned why are the third year students suspended i wonder why I bet she was over some funny shit and uh we meet the second year students zenin who is the girl <laughs> who kind of came in like why are you guys sad it's like we're in a wake i'm like it kind of is inumaki who um, only can speak in ingredients like salmon roe and mustard leaf. We meet Panda. <laughs> Panda, I can't wait to see Panda do some shit. He does like some kung fu shit, dude. That's fucking kung fu Panda. And uh, we haven't met Okotsu yet. So eventually, I'm sure we will uh, 
We'll meet him later. Also, we met the doctor who is going to make good use and slicing up Itadori's body. It was cool to also see Gojo Sensei kind of be just emotional at the fact that Itadori has passed. And he was kind of like assessing that the higher ups probably did it in this way so Itadori can die. But they were doing this against Gojo. And uh, the, the reaction that he had in his head is like, maybe I should just kill the higher ups. I was like, that's fucking crazy, Gojo. Kind of, I kind of hope he there's a, a point where they kind of go against the higher ups. And right at the end, we see that Itadori, of course, is not dead yet. Obviously, he's the main character. He's not going to die. Anyways, guys, that's my live reaction review of Jujutsu Kaisen. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys go and drop a like for me because that would help me a lot. Subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell, my boys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.